This is perfection. Look at this. Roblox was made for this, by the way. Like, the guys who made Roblox Studio, as they were designing it, they had exactly this in mind. Like, this is what Roblox was meant for. All right, so I, I just got back from a 15-hour uh, Instagram scrolling session, and that gave me a really interesting idea. Could I make brain rot in Roblox? You know brain rot, right? Skippity toilet. Level 3 Gat. Ohio Rizzler. I just can't take it. Like when you scroll and you get like some guy like yelling and then the next reel is like some woman like half naked or whatever. That's basically what I want to add inside of Roblox. So let's do this right now, okay? I'm thinking we need to start with a part, okay? As you always do. The idea here, right, is that we have this part, which is basically meant to be like, I don't know, let's, let, let's, let's pretend it's like some Samsung smart fridge or whatever. Because like I could turn it in, into like a tool that we can hold, but I'm a bit lazy. So let's just uh, keep it like this and let's resize it a little bit and uh yeah i mean that's that looks pretty good right all right so now that we know where this is facing we need to add a surface gui on this part and in case you don't know a surface gui is effectively like um a way for you to put user interface you know stuff like text buttons images all of that onto like physical 3d parts so what we'll need is we'll need one image which i'll just quickly resize to actually you know like fit the entire screen awesome there we go and then what i'll do is i'll just make another image and then i'll call this image one and then this one image two so here's the way that i think we can script this okay we can have image one be like the very first image on the actual i don't know what, what do we want to call this ipad tv whatever it's on the on the device let's call it the the device so image one will be in the middle of the device and then image two should be like down there just somewhere down somewhere where we can't see it and then whenever the player clicks image one will animate up and then image two will go you know from the bottom to the very middle and then the next time the player clicks we can do the same thing where you know image two goes up and then image one gets teleported down and then teleports to the middle and then we just keep doing that and then i don't know like we'll figure out what to do next so for image two to move it all the way down we need to set the y scale equal to one and there we go yeah so the idea here is basically whenever we want to move something to the bottom or teleport something to the bottom we change the y scale to be one whenever we, we want to move something to the middle y scale is uh, going to be 0 0.1 whenever we want to move something to the very top y scale is going to be negative one so yeah that's a little math lesson for you i guess i don't know if lesson is the right word but you know what i mean so yeah now inside of a local script inside a starter player script we need to basically make variables for all of these things so what i'll do is i'll say local im1 for image1 is going to be equal to workspace wait for child parts wait for child surface gui wait for child image1 and then we'll do the same thing for image2 m2 image2 the next thing is we need to make a variable for tween service. So TS is equal to game.tween service. A tween service is effectively a thing that allows us to create animations or like tweens as Roblox calls them. And so this is what we're going to use to like move, you know, the parts up or like, you know, to the middle to make this like actual like scrolling animation. We'll make this thing called TI, which is a tween info. This is effectively a thing that every single tween requires. And it's just like the information about the animation. So like, how long does the animation play for? Let's say 0.2 seconds. And the next thing we need to store in variables is we need to store the top position where, you know, y is equal to negative one, uh, the middle position and the bottom position. So I'll just do that real quick and then we'll cut to when I'm done. And there we go. Yeah, so top position is here, middle position is here and bottom position is here. And so the way we're going to do this is I'll make a variable called is image one, which basically tells us like, okay, is the image one on the screen or is image two on the screen so if it so is image one initially will be true and so then the next time we click it's going to check like this variable and then you know if it's true we're going to take image one and you know move it up or if it's false we'll take image two and move it up. awesome yeah and so now let's just quickly make a check for user input all right so i know you know this looks very complicated i understand but all i'm doing here is i'm checking whether the user input type is the mouse button one so if the player you know clicks on the, with their mouse it checks whether is image one is true or not if it is true we're gonna you know do some code here if it's not true we're going to do some other code here and then the very final thing that it does is toggles this variable right because if is image one is true then what we're going to do is move image one up and then move uh image two to the middle and so then let's just really quickly write the code for that and yeah there we go so i'm just making two animations you know one which moves the um, image one to the top and then moves image two to the middle and then wait and then it teleports image one which is at the top all the way to the bottom and so yeah just real quick let's actually test if this works okay click click 
click lovely look at that now a small problem is that if i keep on clicking um it just looks like this which kind of looks weird so what we need to do is we need to add a cooldown and yeah there we go so i just made a quick little cooldown system and so now uh that should prevent me from spamming the mouse yeah, awesome. There we go. But now what we need to do is we need to actually give it some images, right? Because obviously, you know, when you scroll on Instagram or I don't know, wh whatever it is that you people scroll on, bro. Obviously, I never scroll. I, I never I've never touched Instagram, TikTok, anything like that, because I'm a very holy man. I, I don't do that. But I know all of you do, you know, so I just got back from a 15 hour uh, Instagram scrolling session. What I'm going to do is I'm going to find an image or a set of images that caters to your needs. Let's just say that. Uh, all right, boys, Wh which which one are we picking? So the way that I'm thinking we can do this is we can make a table full of just a bunch of these IDs, okay? Because every single image has what's called an ID attached to it. And an ID is just like a bunch of like numbers, right? So what we can do is basically we can take these IDs, right? And then we can just pick a random ID from this table and then assign it to the image. So let's do that local random IDs like so. And then let's just, I don't know, select a bunch of random Y2K anime emo girl PFP. Perfect. What am I doing with my life, bro? Real question. Like, I don't know. I could I could probably be using my time in, in a in a smarter way, you know, but adding brain rot to Roblox is very important. Alright, I want one more, but all of these, they're looking kind of mid. I don't know. You know what? There we go. Anime girl, th that's that's the perfect name. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'll actually just assign the images an ID right now. So yeah, I'll just go to image, I'll give it the ID, and there we go. Yeah, so this is obviously very clearly working. Now, if we want to actually take all of these IDs and like assign them to the images, we we have the numbers, which is good, but we can't just give them the numbers because every single like image it needs this piece of text uh, and then the number. So it needs RBX asset ID, and then I don't know colon slash slash and then the number so what i'll do is i'll copy this piece of text i'm gonna say m1 dot uh, image and then i'll set that equal to this text and then dot dot which is like when we when you want to like add something to the text I'll, I'll get the table of the random ids and then i'll say square brackets math dot random which will give us a random number between one and the amount of items that's inside of the table and yeah then we can just do the same thing but for image suit yeah okay so if we play the game right now for hopefully maybe the final time uh yes 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 do you do, do, do you guys see this this is perfection look at this roblox was made for this by the way like the guys who made roblox studio as they were designing it they had exactly this in mind like this is what roblox was meant for look at this damn yeah i mean i don't i don't know what else to tell you like <laughs> this is it we've, we've made brain rot in roblox i guess i could add like a like system that'd be pretty fun like for like if i click on the part it like makes it red or whatever i don't know but yeah mesmerizing bro look at this roblox was like i said literally made for stuff like this in fact you know what i'll do uh in the pinned comment of this video i'm actually gonna p give you a link to this game so you can invite your friends and brain rot with them I don't, I don't know if that makes any sense now while we're at it a small idea that i'm having is what if instead of um you know picking up picking like a thing from this table what if we just get a random id in general like let me show you right what if we take uh an id like this right so it's going to be an id from this all the way from all the way to here for example so it's going to give us a random number between this number and this number i'm actually really curious if this is going to work and i really hope that we're not going to get any like weird images but let's just see so if i scroll okay that's fine nothing okay i, I get, let, let me just keep scrolling until we actually find an id that like exists all right, so I've been scrolling for like a solid 10 hours now. Um, I've been scrolling for so long that like my graphics have literally improved while I was scrolling. But yeah, we haven't actually, you know, found anything, which kind of sucks. So I guess, I guess we're only going to be left with the anime girl pictures. Oh no, what a, what a terrible thing. But yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'll just, <laughs> you know what, you know what would be funny? I should just like, how big can I make this? Look at that. That is so cool. Yeah, so we're just gonna have this huge TV thing, which um, I'll just set it to anchored, so because I don't want it to fall down. And uh, yeah, look at that. I think that in the year 2070, we're probably gonna have something like this, where um, 
you know it's gonna like be this huge screen and then we're gonna i don't know th this perspective looks weird bro i don't know i don't even know what i'm doing okay yeah let's just let's just bring it down to a regular size uh like so so yeah like i said you know invite your friends this game will be public look at that why can I, why can I, what? Oh, right, because I undid everything. So now you can, yeah, there we go. It's on the floor. You can, like, move the thing around now. Um, yeah, like I said, invite your friends. Uh, check the description and pin comment for my course. Because obviously, you know, a man who can do this, who can add brain rot to Roblox, like me. Obviously, you know, you, you really, you need to check out my course. Because it's just amazing and full of lovely information. And, yeah, as always, <laughs> we are back to basics. Thank you for watching.